If you guys are looking for cheap, fast, and reliable Madden Ultimate Team coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're super great. They got fast 24-7 support. Make sure to check them out, and make sure you use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys, and today... We got Team of the Week, Week 10. Now, Team of the Week, Week 10, guys, super, super awesome so far. We got some pretty decent cards. Now, of course, I do want to see the newer cards and show you guys the newer cards, but hopefully all goes well. It's another great Team of the Week. Team of the Week this year has been pretty consistent, right? Like a few decent ones, some good ones. We only had like one or two like dud weeks where we really weren't too happy about any of the outcomes, but I'm kind of I'm kind of optimistic about this week and looking forward to it. Team of the Week's always fun. I did not do my predictions yesterday because of the um, Autumn Blast Pro and everything. Kind of threw me off my schedule, but we'll get back to that as soon as possible. Now for today's um, Poodle Squad shout out, guys. Shout out to Cali Country for being a part of the Poodle Squad. Thanks so much for showing support in each and every video. Appreciate you, man. Greatly do. Thank you to anyone else who wants to join. If you do want to have a chance to be shouted out, like the video down below, comment down below Poodle Squad, and turn on the noti bell. Now that's about it for that, guys. Let's get into the video if you're new, subscribe. But yeah, start off with the first one. We got Todd Heap, tight end for the Baltimore Ravens. Now, if you guys need coins to pick up any of these Team of the Week players, I will go over in the video. Go down below to Mutt Reserve. We do have an Autumn Blast uh, discount going on, so make sure you take advantage of that. Also, use code Poodle for an additional 15% off of that. So, better for that, guys. Let's head into this. Todd Heap, tight end for the Ravens. 86 speed, 78 strength, 92 catching, 92 catch traffic, 93 spec, 91 short running, 91 medium right running. Now, pretty much Todd Heap is a slightly better run blocking, slightly slower version of Darren Waller, right? You can power him up. Power him up, guys. He's going to be one of the best catching route running tight ends in the game. I think he's going to be slightly slower than Darren Waller or Eric Ebron. So it really just comes down to whether or not Eric Ebron gets 93, right? So if Eric Ebron stays at a 91 and Darren Waller stays Darren Waller and you power up Todd Heap, he will be the highest overall tight end combined with the fact that he will have the highest catching and route running and run blocking altogether with 87. He could be one of the best tight ends in the game, but if Eric Ebron, of course, gets to 93, his speed gets super crazy and everything else gets super crazy, Eric Ebron will be the best tight end. So right now, Todd Heap is like tied Right there, uh, Waller, right around there for the best tight end. But, of course, if Eric Ebron does get a better card from his Thanksgiving All-Star, we'll be talking about this differently, right? Because, so remember, Eric Ebron does have the All-Star where if he does get, you know, certain catches or touchdowns or whatever it is, he does get to a certain overall. So, hopefully, you know, he can go ahead and get that. So, we have a brand new banger tight end in Madden. But, as of now, Todd Heap is really, really good. Again, that's what I'm saying. Like, he may not be a huge name, you know, in terms of how many people actually know or watch football. But, in terms of stats he's up there guys he looks really good now let's get over to the other one that was pre-revealed which is paul puzlozny i've been saying for a while i'm waiting for a paul puzlozny card he used to be a staple in madden he was never the greatest linebacker in madden he was usually slower and actually made him decently fast in this one but let's get into him he can be powered up of course so 87 speed 86 excel 84 strike 90 tackle 91 play rec 86 block shoot 91 hit power and 80 zone now not bad a very well-rounded card powered up in chemed up guys he will get up to an 88 speed I really don't know. I mean, you actually put Lockdown on him. He'll get his zone up to like an 86. Won't hit threshold anyway, so it doesn't really make much of a difference. He's going to be a very well-rounded linebacker. Again, I'd probably rather safety there. You know, when you put Taylor Mays or someone else there, you're rocking with faster speeds, higher zones, higher hit power. Block shot's good, though, but again, doesn't get to 90 either way. So Paul Pozzolini is good. Nice to see him back in Madden. I just don't think he's going to be a meta middle linebacker. And quite honestly, guys, to give him some credit, there's no such thing as like a metal middle linebacker this year. Even the Shays, the and the Willis's, we're outshadowed by strong safety. So, going to be super tough this year to actually get metal linebackers or really even get excited about metal linebackers. So, hopefully, guys, I mean, you know, if you're running a Jack Steam team, Paul Pozzolini is great. If you're running a certain team of the week team, he's great. But again, as a regular God Squad, I don't know how many people actually are going to employ metal linebackers these days. kind of sucks. It was It's a fun position, right? It's just with, with how easy this game makes you, let's you put the players out of position. What I would like to see this game do in the very near future, like next Madden, even this Madden, do a patch where players out of position suffer like something to where they don't play the same right like so guy they lose like stats certain spots i want to go back to a game where like fullback at fullback matters wide receivers at wide receiver matter you know this at this matter i want to go back to that you know i want to see middle linebackers matter you can't run three strong safeties one at cornerback once that cornerback they don't play well you know they can't play man on man but besides that guys let's get into the rest of the guys and go check them out All right, guys so for the power up pass plus one guys you know like the guys that get the team of the week lower overalls they get a plus one on the power up First, we got Jamal Adams. Now, that's super cool because you know Jamal Adams doesn't have a meta strong safety card from the LTD kickoff uh, promo. Now, that plus one's going to be huge. It's going to give him some more man, some more zone, some more speed, more hit power. Definitely a great power up uh, expansion there. Definitely love that one. Next, we got Alvin Kamara. Alvin Kamara plus one. Nothing, not the greatest. Of course, he did get a card not too long ago, but you do have to remember that Alvin Kamara is always kind of slower. So, 
I mean, it's great if you have a Saints theme team, but overall, I don't know how much that actually, you know, it's like great. You know what I mean? But yeah, it's still, it's still good. It's Alvin Kamar. So far, two big names. We got Jamal Adams, Alvin Kamar. Typically, we don't get big names in these little ones. Next, we got Jeff Heath for the uh, Raiders. Again, not sure about his last card. Not sure if this is his best card. So, all you Raiders fans, rejoice in Jeff uh, in Jeff Heath. DeAndre Hopkins, he just got a card. He just got a most favorite card, but you know he deserved this. He just had that crazy catch on all those defenders from Kyler Murray for the Hail Mary with this no time on the clock left. DeAndre Hopkins, most of those guys, he deserved a card. Even if he had only one catch for 50 yards and it was that one, he deserved the team of the week. So shout out to DeAndre Hopkins for going off and winning the card in another game. But yeah, he gets a plus one on his other cards. So that's great as well. Then we got Leonard Floyd for the uh, the Rams, and he was actually having a pretty good game. That's actually pretty good. 89, 89 overall Leonard Floyd. He had 88 speed, 85 finesse move, 84 blocks. He's like a low-key budget beast. Low-key, like highly low-key. If you max out pass rush on him and you can get him up a little bit, you get probably a really budgety Lawrence Taylor. Uh, moving on next, guys, we have Ronald Jones with a huge day for the Buccaneers on the ground. 92 speed, 93 excel. Now you change the direction, guys. This might be one of the best budget piece running backs in the game. Next, we got Darius Williams. Shout out to Darius Williams for being one of those random uh, no-name team of the week guys we got. 92 speed, 92 excel, 87 agility, 92 jumping, 92 play rec, 92 man, 90 zone, 77 press. Why is this card not good? It's going to be that press because, again, he's pretty much Deion Sanders without all the athleticism. So Deion Sanders will be faster, a little bit better agility, a little bit better everything else, and he has, and they both don't have press. Now, Darius Williams isn't horrible. He does get all the thresholds that you're going to want besides press. So if you guys don't press at all, Darius Williams isn't bad, but he's still going to be expensive because he's a Team of the Week hero. So, again, I personally wouldn't use him, but if you guys like Darius Williams for some reason, go ahead and use him. But they also give you Chris Jones from the Kansas City Chiefs. Chris Jones is a goon, always has been. 70 speed, 84 excel, 89 strength, 93 tackle, 93 play rec, 91 block shed, 93 power move, and 85 finesse move. Now, he can be powered up. So powered up and chemmed up, his block shed's already above 90. You can get his power move, guys. If you put on pass rush on him, you can get his power move probably up to like a 98, 99. So if you can get him up to a 99 power move, that's pretty crazy. And his block shed's good. This is probably the best defensive tackle in the game. The only issue is going to be his athleticism. People will kind of harp on the fact that he only has a 71 speed powered up. The guys, his play recognition, his block shed, like he's going to be high 90s, you know, like not just like low mid. He didn't just break threshold. He could potentially get to a 99 power move, which is super, super good. So make sure you do check into that, guys. But that's about it for that, guys. That does wrap up our entire week of Team of the Week 10. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Let me know who your favorite player is down below. If you guys do need coins to pick up any of these players, uh, go down below to Mutt Reserve. Take advantage of the Autumn Blast uh, promos and everything going on. Use code Poodle for an additional 15% off. If you guys do want a chance to shout out in the Poodle Squad, comment down below. Poodle Squad, like the video. And of course, turn on that noti bell, guys. Once you're done with that, you're good to go. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. That's what I got. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. Peace.